This is lecture eleven, part two. In part one, we have seen the mesh analysis, that is, how to write mesh equations and how to find the mesh currents, right? And also we have seen the super mesh concept. Now in this lecture, we are going to discuss nodal analysis. Now nodal analysis generally it is KCL plus Ohm's law. When we write nodal analysis, always first we write the KCL. Then each part, uh, each passive element, we write the Ohm's law. Uh, before we do an example, so what is the procedure we need to see? Now procedures, the first we need to see, identify the number of nodes present in the circuit. Remember, I, when I discussed mesh analysis, I told mesh analysis is applicable only for planar circuit. This nodal analysis applicable to any circuit. It is a planar or non-planar. Now, the moment we see it is a non-planar, so we will go directly to the nodal analysis, right? Otherwise, we can go for mesh analysis or nodal analysis. If it is a planar, we can go for mesh or nodal analysis, right? Now, which one is better? That we will see later. Now, so first we will have to identify the number of nodes present in the circuit. Once we find the number of nodes, first we have to designate a reference node. First we have to identify the number of nodes. Then we have to give a reference node which is common to all the nodes or all the branches right that is the reference node now once we uh, find the number of nodes and reference node then label the node voltages that is reference node is generally we can take it as a zero volt but other than this reference node there is n minus node voltages will be there no so those node voltages will give the label that is v1 v2 etc next we write the KCL equation for each of the non-reference non nodes, right? So how many nodes are there? So we write those number of equations, right? Then if suppose any dependent source is there, then we have to express those for dependent sources in terms of the known node voltages, right? The last one is, so we have to organize the equation and solve them to find the N minus one nodal voltages. <coughs> now remember, we are having n minus no n minus one unknown values that means in case in nodal analysis we will get n minus one equations to solve n minus one node voltages so that is in the here see what are the equations required so in nodal analysis equations number of equations required to solve n minus one node voltages right voltages that is n minus 1 equations required n minus equations both are same right next we will see one example so in the question he mentioned determine the node nodal voltage v1 in the circuit shown that means he already mentioned what is the node voltage v1 so first thing we need to identify number of nodes so this is the node 1 that's why v1 and suppose this node suppose if I assume node 2 so this is node 3 this is node 4 but I will make it as reference so it will become 0 volt so under v2 v3 and uh, node 2 node 2 we will give a label that is v2 and this is v3 now 4 node voltages are there 4 nodes then what are the equations required n minus 1 equations required that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 equations required right when you are finding the nodes so we we'll generally we say total how many nodes are there with including a reference then we can say 4 minus 1 that is 3 equations required to solve v1 v2 and v3 right the unknowns are 3 so you should get at least 3 equations now before writing the case here we should know one concept suppose there is a branch r and the this node voltage we know this node voltage we know v1 and v2 now what is the difference voltage or voltage across this resistance is v1 minus v2 always right now the current if i want to find the current so using ohm's law i is equal to the difference voltage that is v1 minus v2 by resistance r right so once we know this concept then we can write the case here right whenever any passive element is there and the node voltages are known so the difference between these two node voltages by the resistance r is the current right r voltage means v1 minus v2 now see 
you'll write the kcl but if when you are writing the kcl at each and every node assume that all currents are leaving all currents are leaving right so this is my assumption you can assume all currents are entering that means the air and the all currents are leaving means whoever the currents are leaving will give the positive sign and whoever is entering that will give the negative sign or we can assume all currents are entering so whoever is entering will give the positive uh, sign who are you leaving we assume that the negative sign right why we assume all leaving currency suppose this is the current source which is entering but these two are the unknowns right so that's my that's why when we assume this is leaving this node voltage will be higher than the this node voltage and this node voltage then we can write easily the current is that is v1 minus v2 by 1 v1 minus v3 by 2 right that's why we will assume that all currents are leaving if we assume all currents are leaving v2 minus v1 will come so somewhat confusing but if we take all currents are leaving it will be very easy so this is leaving this is leaving this is leaving so we'll give the positive uh, signs so now i'm writing nodal equation at node 1 or node v1 right now if you see here this 5 ampere is entering so but we assume that all currents are leaving so minus 5 plus this current that is now we are assuming applying the ohms law so this current is suppose if i take i1 so by ohms law v1 minus v2 by 1 right so v1 minus v2 by 1 plus this current is also leaving so v1 minus v3 by 2 v1 minus v3 by 2 is equal to 0 if i rearrange this one v1 plus 1 by 2 that means 1 plus 0 0.5 so we will get 3 by 2 v1 minus v2 minus v3 by 2 is equal to 0 <coughs> equation 1 now similarly if i write nodal equation here at node 2 assumption is again all currents are leaving right so at this node this voltage v2 is a dominant that's why we will get v2 minus v1 etc so when wherever you are writing the node equation that node voltage will be dominant compared to other voltages right next if you see here all currents are leaving v2 minus v1 by 1 so apply uh, nodal equation apply nodal equation at node v2 right so it's simple v2 minus v1 by 1 v2 minus v1 by 1 plus if you see here v2 minus v3 by 2 v2 minus v3 by 2 now if you see here we assume leaving but this current is entering so minus 2 ampere is equal to 0 now if i again rearrange minus v1 plus v2 plus 1 by 2 so we will get 3 by 2 v2 minus v3 by 2 v3 by 2 is equal to 2 this is equation 2 <coughs> now the last node is here so if i apply here so v3 is a dominant v3 minus v1 by 2 now apply nodal equation or writing the nodal equation right at node 3 or v3 so apply nodal equation at node v3 that is v3 minus v1 by 2 v3 minus v1 by 2 plus again we have to assume all are leaving current so v3 minus v2 by 2 v3 minus v2 by 2 plus we see here v3 minus this reference that is v3 minus 0 by 1 so v3 minus 0 by 1 is equal to 0 now if i rearrange minus v1 by 2 that is minus v1 by 2 now minus v2 by 2 and v3 by 2 v3 by 2 plus 1 so we will get v3 2 v3 is equal to 0 this is equation 3 so we are rearranged already so we have to solve these three equations to find v1 v2 v3 right now to solve this one we can have so many different types that is so if i take again v1 v2 3 by 2 v1 minus v2 minus 
v3 by 2 is equal to 5 it's not uh, 0 it is 5 minus 5 is going that side so it will be 5 so 5 that is equation 1 similarly minus v1 plus 3 by 2 v2 minus v3 by 2 is equal to 2 equation 2 <coughs> the last one is minus v1 by 2 minus v2 by 2 plus 2 v3 is equal to 0 equation 3 now we can solve so previously we are allowed to use calculator so in the calculator we can solve unknowns three unknowns two unknowns but now from now on uh, the previous 2010 onwards or 2014 onwards so calcis are not allowed so they are giving virtual calcis so we have to solve manually right so we will have from the mathematics system of linear equations we can solve otherwise <coughs> so we need v1 so from these two equations we will eliminate the v3 first this is 2v3 so if i multiply this one with a 4 i will get more minus 4v1 plus 6v2 minus 2v3 is equal to 8 so we will write as it is minus v1 by 2 minus v2 by 2 plus 2v3 is equal to 0 if i add these two will be cancelled minus 4 minus v1 by 2 minus 9 by 2v1 this one 6 minus 1 by 2 right so we'll get 5.5 that is 11 by 2 v2 is equal to 8 this is equation 4 <coughs> right next one is so from this first two expressions we can eliminate again v3 right that is 3 by 2 v1 minus v2 minus v3 by 2 is equal to 5 minus v1 plus 3 by 2 v2 minus v3 by 2 is equal to 2 if i subtract this that is minus 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 so minus of minus it will be cancelled 3 by 2 minus of minus so we'll get 5 by 2 v1 right here also minus minus we'll get again minus 5 by 2 v2 and is equal to my 5 minus 2 will become 3 this is equation 5 now we can solve easily these two equations 4 and 5 suppose this is minus 9 by 2 v1 minus 11 by 2 v2 is equal to 8 this is equation 4 <coughs> now to eliminate v2 we have to multiply with this one is different this one is different right suppose this is 11 i want so it will be uh, <coughs> or we can say minus 11 by 2 v2 is equal to 8 plus 9 by 2 v1 so what is v2 we will get minus 2 by 11 into 8 minus 2 by 11 into 9 by 2 v1 so 2 2 will be cancelled minus 16 by 11 minus 9 by 11 v1 this is v2 now if i substitute in this expression we will get the v1 v5 by 2 v1 minus 5 by 2 into minus 16 by 11 minus 9 by 11 into v1 is equal to 3 so if i take v1 common it will become 5 by 2 plus 5 by 2 80 by 22 plus 45 by 22 is equal to 3 <coughs> now if i take lcm 22 this will become 55 80 plus 45 is equal to 3 and the final answer is why v1 is equal to 66 by 10 8 4 3 12 17 18 so 180 volts 66 by 180 volts or we can modify by uh, so 2 3s by 90 volts and 3 so 3 1 1 and 3 30 so we can do that manipulation so the final answer will be 11 by 30 volts is the v1 so this is somewhat lengthy when we asked about the suppose three nodal equations etc but in the gate exam we will not get question like this but suppose if we get like this we have to solve like this only once we get v1 we can find v2 then we can find v3 also right so that is about the the nodal analysis <coughs> next we have to see 
next we will see the super node concept in neural analysis so what is the super node concept is so suppose this is circuit is given so in place of this 2 ohm suppose there is a 2 voltage voltage source of 2 volts now if i label the node that is it will be v1 this will be v2 and this will be v3 right and this will be ground reference terminal now when i write kcl here so i can write easily that is v1 minus v2 by 1 v1 minus v3 by 2 and uh, this is minus 5 but when i come to node 2 and node 3 there is a voltage source in between that is v2 and v2 so in this branch now across any idea in the ideal voltage source the current is arbitrary so it can be any value so that's why i cannot apply kcl here and here right so what is the concept so that the concept is either we will apply some i1 or the arbitrary number then we can uh, find the equations so somewhat lengthy procedure that one now suppose wherever in between node voltages suppose there is any voltage so for those two nodes we will assume a single node which is super node so this is called super node right so by assuming that this is a single node we will apply kcl then across this voltage source we will apply the voltage yeah, i mean oh, old, uh, what do you call kvl right so that is suppose so what we will go here is first we will write node equation node equation at node v1 right so at v1 there is no problem so simply v1 minus v2 by 1 v1 minus v2 by 1 plus v1 minus v3 by 2 minus 5 is equal to 0 so you will get 3 by 2 v1 minus v2 minus v3 by 2 is equal to 5 equation 1 right when i come at node 2 and node 3 so we'll have a problem so i told so this is a single node now now we are applying kcl or node equation node equation at uh, node super node not as node super node so super node means suppose if i'm here so it is v2 minus v1 by 1 so v2 minus v1 by 1 then v2 so anyway this current we know this is also leaving so plus 2 and don't uh, apply any kcl here so come here so this is v3 minus v1 by plus v3 minus v1 by 2 plus v3 minus 0 by this is suppose 2 ohm. so v3 minus 0 by 2 is equal to 0 right this is open node. so leaving this uh, voltage uh, alone then we will apply the node, node equation like this so two branches two branches now if i rearrange we will get minus 3 by 2 v1 plus v2 plus so v3 by 2 v3 by 2 will get v3 is equal to 0 now this is 0 so plus 2 is there so it will come here so it will become minus 2 equation 2 now so here we are having three uh, node voltages that is three unknowns but we got only two equations so it is not possible to find three unknowns now we need one more equation so who will give that one more equation is we will apply kvl across this voltage source so apply kvl across voltage source voltage source if you see in mesh analysis across super mesh we applied kcl now here we will apply kvl so see this is plus minus so this is we know that is v2 and this is we know that is v3 so if i apply kvl what you will get minus v2 plus 2 plus v3 is equal to 0 right or simply we can say v2 minus v3 is equal to 2 v2 is going that side v3 is going that side so v2 minus v3 is equal to 2 this is the third equation all right see or we can directly write this is v2 this is v3 what is the difference v2 minus v3 which is 2 volts so because v2 side it is a positive terminal so i can take v2 minus v3 if i take v3 minus v2 so if i take v3 minus v2 it will become minus 2 volt right that is minus terminal is connected to v3 v3 minus v2 either minus 2 volt or v2 minus v3 is equal to plus 2 volts so in either way we can write otherwise we can write like this some kvl equation assuming that this branch voltage is v2 this branch voltage is v3 then i can apply kvl 
now once we know equations 3 so we can solve solve solving equations 1 2 and 3 will get will get v1 v2 and v3 right so that you can solve easily right so this is about the nodal analysis and super node concept In next lecture we will see some problems on the mesh analysis and nodal analysis